What a night we've had here at KSW 78. Stechin, the home of the Berserkers. Well, tonight they really put together a performance from all their players that was really astounding, wasn't it? I mean, some of Stechin's finest young sons came out to play and they did it in style. Listen, tonight's card was amazing, even without the main event, which of course was Grove versus Michal Materla. But before we get to the main event, we're going to talk about what happened as a preamble. It started off pretty slow. Then all of a sudden, hells are popping. There were finishes everywhere. And, you know, we got to what I thought was the biggest upset of the night. Merchow versus Mankowski. Now, Boris Mankowski had a tough time recently, lost out on a couple of occasions when I thought that he really could have produced a rabbit out of the hat. Tonight he looked in great shape, but he came up against a tough, tough opponent. And Mircha clearly had a couple of ways to win this fight. I felt it was going to either involve the right hand or somehow punishing the takedown attempts of Minkowski. But Minkowski had talked about training and preparation and focus with the Red Dragons, and it all seemed to be going so, so good until that switch knee. Minkowski was floored. Mircha pounced on him, and that was the end. Yeah, no, absolutely amazing performance by Merchow, well deserved. You know, he 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 is what I I would assume that he is next in line for that title shot. I mean, the way he finished Mankowski right here, it was, it was absolutely beautiful. Waited patiently, took his time, and boom, there goes that double knee, and finished him off in the ground pound. Yeah, I mean, it was an emphatic finish by Merchow, and I have to say, it was the surprise performance of the night. It was a big upset to see Mankowski go. He needed that win. It's tough to be 3-0. and Listen, I think it's back to the drawing board, but I hope he comes back. Well, next up, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Roman Szymanski, one of the top, top fighters at the weight, has had two shots at the title, narrowly missing out. But tonight, well, Again, we got to the 3-0 and situation in the promotion. You can't do that. Tonight, though, he really proved his worth against Raul Tutarauli. And Tutarauli came in, I think, with a lot of advantages in this fight. But the double leg takedown, I think, was actually to his detriment. Shimanski looked so, so, so calm and just used that beautiful jiu-jitsu for MMA. Granby rolling, setting up the triangle with the crooked guard. We saw it, but grips were so, so good early. Stepping over the back of the head right there, hipping into the arm lock, the limp arm escape attempt there from Tutorali. It was close, but it wasn't enough. I think you'll agree with me, Chris, that this was probably the best we've seen Shimansky. Uh, I think all those losses that he's had and all, you know, always a bridesmaid, but never the bride, right? Yeah. I mean, he deserves now what's, what's, what's next in line for him. And, and like I've said, it's, it's he, those lessons that he learned, you know, came in at a, at a good time and, yep. um, and he deserves it. Well, Next up was the co-main event in terms of thrills and spills. Romanowski against Puchowski. I mean, two strikers, devastating. It was touch and go as to who would come out on top here. But Tommy Romanowski, the Polish Rocky, just blazed here tonight. It went to three, but it was just action all the way. And this was one of those fights we knew was going to be fight of the night. It was just such a different level of styles from striking, and I think Pachuski made a couple of errors coming in so close, allowing Romanowski that power generation. Flooring him there in the first round. I, I did have it two rounds for Romanowski to one for Pachuski in the third, but the action was just nuts all the way through, so Shinsuke. Yeah, I know, I agree with you. I, I, Romanowski has this thing, ability to, to pull fighters into his fight. And we've seen that in round one and round two, and then Petrusi slowly took over that fight in round three. But I think it was, as you agree with me, it was a little too, a little bit too late for that to happen and, and losing that uh, that fight uh, two to one in the rounds. Tommy Romanowski, I mean, you know, he is a unique fighter. He's one of the Tyson, Joe Frazier type fighters. He's improved his game so much in recent times. The footwork tonight for the first two rounds was funkier than James Brown. He really moved around the ring, really made him exciting to watch. But he has the ability to get on the inside and stay on the inside and cause damage. And he did that tonight. I mean, he dropped Petruski a couple of times. Petruski had his chin tested, but came back great great fight and you know Tommy Romanowski on to bigger and greater things it was still a tight call but great performance tonight from Romanowski well we got to the main event this was 10 years in the making Mihai Matula KSW's 
one of KSW's favourite sons, with the promotion, the heartbeat of the promotion, Kendall Grove. Well, 10 years ago, Matula took a win against Grove. There was some controversy. They had a rematch. 10 years on, they faced each other here tonight. And, uh, you know, Kendall Grove started this looking incredibly sharp after having been out of the ring for such a long time. Matula off the back of some tricky wins and losses. And tonight, unbeknownst to us, he had an injury to his right arm, but he still went in the ring, you know, and gave us this performance. And I was mistaken thinking that their first fight wasn't going to have a great deal of relevance because Grove actually looked very sharp in the stand-up. The reach was there. It caused some serious issues for Materla, particularly with the straight punches, finishing occasionally with those hooks, as you see. But Materla found a way after being punished pretty heavily in that first round. I had him down in this fight. He found a way to win, and it began with that left hook. Yeah, true, true. I, I don't know what it is about these Hawaiian boys, but, I mean, they don't age. I mean, Kendall Grove looks exactly like he looked back then. I remember him from 10, 15 years ago when <laughs> I, I was know, fighting. That's coconut butter <laughs> or pineapple <laughs> butter. That's what it is. Like that. but, <laughs> but, you know, you know, I mean, huge props to Materla for, for from, from going through what he's gone through with that injury, number one, and then, you know, just that devastating KO loss that he took last fight and just coming back the way he did and, and you know, fighting at a 10 kg weight difference on top of that is was absolutely amazing. It's exactly the way he wanted him to go out and, uh, and hopefully... You know, I, I think you guys will both agree with me. We're hoping to see this was the last one that we see on Matarla because, you know, going out the way you want to like this is, is the perfect way to, to say goodbye to the, to, the, to the sport. Yeah, you know, we saw throughout the round one and then two that there was a problem. Matarla looked slow. He looked off the mark because he wasn't using his right hand. He was using the left. But he obviously knew that if he could land the right shot at the right time, the left would work. And he certainly did that. And Kendall Grove has got incredible boxing skills. He really has. He's sharp. He looks like a boxer that's fought since the age of seven. He really has got those stand-up skills. But tonight, Matarla came out on top. You know, I liken him to the last samurai. He can go into battle knowing he's going to lose, but he still goes into battle. That's something very special. And that represents the beating heart of KSW. And tonight, you know, I agree with Christoph Szyzinski. I, I, I think he must just take this as an omen and get out while the going's really good. He had an injury. He fought on. You can only go to the well so many times. But listen. What a great start to the year. KSW, we had our first 12 event in 2022. We're going for 12 in 2023. We're going to see you again, like it or not. Stay with us. Look at all your social media. Follow it and watch KSW. I'm Vanders. I'm Hookstra. Porsche Experiment, Christoph Szynski. We're the International KSW Crew. Look after yourselves. Have a happy new year and we'll see you next time. Oos. Oos.